ago I built a Ludwig drone, a drone with Arduino that was the first time I flew a quadrocopter in my life. Then I got this 3x drone, it's really hard to fly, there's no way to make a good video with this thing, so it's not a good drone. But today I have a Fimi A3, drone made by Xiaomi, it's inexpensive and has some features that I really like. It may be a really good competitor to DJI Spark, let's see. <laughs> The first thing that I really like is the remote and built-in screens so we don't have to use our smartphones. Using smartphones with other devices suck because you need to have an app, charge phone, you have to put it in the remote and then someone call you. For me integrating smartphone with other products is the most annoying thing and it seems that almost everyone do it nowadays. In the box except for the drone and the remote you can also find two spare propellers battery charger, USB cable and some instructions. There is also full HD camera with 2 axis gimbal but producer refers to it as 2.5 axis gimbal so I think there is some kind of software stabilization or something like this. Image from this camera can be seen on the LCD of this remote and the coolest thing we have a DIY port like a serious DIY port where you can connect whatever you want. There it is on the bottom of the drone we have 6 pins there are some kind of power pins, GND pin and PWM pin, digital output and I think some kind of data pins or something like this and this DIY port can be controlled with one of these buttons I'm not sure which one exactly and you can also set in the settings to control the PWM signal with this dial There is a lot of different settings in the remote and it's pretty boring I'm not going to talk about all of them we just have uh, this kind of dial or something like this to navigate through all of the menus. It's very convenient, I like this solution. We have some smart flights option like return to home, auto takeoff, auto landing, orbital flight, follow me mode and so on. We have some camera settings, image quality settings, some other stuff. Uh, you have GPS mode setting. We can set up the max attitude and max distance from where we start. Another cool thing is that we can record the video on the drone itself. We can put the SD camera in the drone, but we can also put another SD camera in the remote and record like a backup version of the video. The quality is not as good right here as it is in the drone, but it's really good for backup just in case something bad happens to your drone. We also have a charging port right there and some kind of video output so that we can connect to the TV or some kind of external monitor. Sun is starting to set so I don't have a lot of time, let's get this thing out and see how it flies. I'm really impressed. This drone is really good. Maybe not perfect. I'm I don't know it. I just fly it for like 15 minutes. The battery wasn't fully charged, so I got about 15 minutes of flight time. But I'm really really impressed. It really works great. It's super easy to control this thing. These sticks, those are perfect. I'm not sure about image quality because on this screen it's not as good, but this is transmitted wirelessly, so you know the quality is not as good. I didn't test the smart options, just return to home and it works perfectly fine without any problems. It returned almost perfectly to the same place where I started it. And you know, flying, it's super easy, it's really fast, it's small, easy to carry with you. Unfortunately, you don't have a folding arms right here, but that's not a big deal. The light situation right now, 
it's it's dark because it's just after the sunset so I wouldn't be surprised if the image quality of the camera wouldn't be as good because in dark almost every camera doesn't perform as well as it should so maybe I will test it also in the sunlight tomorrow we'll see It's the next day, I fully charged the drone, it's quite bright right now, so let's test it again. Right now I will test the follow me mode of this drone. I also found yesterday this model of the protective cap for the gimbal on the Thingiverse. I printed out and right now this gimbal is protected during the transport. I almost finished editing this video. I watched all of the footage from the drone and I have to say that it's good. Not perfect, the image is not as sharp as it could be, but it's perfectly usable for YouTube or family stuff. And if you can't afford a drone like DJI Mavic, this is a perfect alternative to enhance your videos with cool drone footage. It has some really great features like screen building the remote and follow me mode based on GPS position of the remote instead of vision object tracking that's way more reliable. I will definitely use this drone in my future videos. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye.